Today we're going to do a little walkthrough of what I go and look for in a tree to determine whether it's a hazard, whether it's a risk, whether it should be taken down, what to do. So I'm going to walk you through the process of what I do when I go look at a tree. We're giving you the whole view of this oak. So we're gonna, there's a whole bunch of trees here, but we're gonna assess this particular tree. So first thing I do is, you know, usually we walk up, we'll look at it from the outside. We'll look at the tree as a whole. We'll look at the color of the leaves. I know that this live oak should have a nice green, dark green color. So if it were light, that'd be an issue. So we're gonna look at the, the color of the leaves. We're gonna look for any big dead branches. Um, Again, I don't see any here. We got a little dead branch there, but for the most part, it looks good. We're going to look for an imbalance, whether the tree leans heavier in one direction, like this one, it does lean. We're going to look for any branches that extend beyond the regular shape of the canopy that may be a little heavy. So that's what I look at just uh, from a distance. Color, shape, lean, branches, overhanging, things like that. And then we go up a little closer and then we can take a look at a few other things. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so now we're a little closer on the tree. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm moving forward as, as I start assessing it. Now I'm looking at the trunk to see if there's any holes, cavities, cracks. Just from a distance, I'm getting a look at the trunk. I'm looking at the branch attachments. We're looking for branches that maybe have sharp angles. Um, looking for cracks, looking for branches that may be broken, looking for dead branches. So we're going to kind of walk around and look at the trunk, look at the branches, see if we see anything. So on this side, you can see there's there's a big issue as we go up the trunk. There's a big hole up there in that uh, in the trunk. There's a big cavity, and you probably can't see it well from there. But from here, it goes all the way nearly through the trunk, probably two feet deep, and it probably goes down into the trunk, up the trunk. So that's a big cavity, um, and we can see some oozing coming down here. This looks like moisture. And uh, likely the cavity goes deep. There's another cavity there. Some of the water that gets accumulated leaks down here. Another thing to look for when you're looking at the canopy is if you have branches that have broken off in the past or are broken, that's a sign that the, the weight, the branches are getting heavy. There's a lot of weight on the branches. So anytime a branch breaks, uh, that's your sign that, okay, something's wrong here. And usually it's a structural problem or the tree has got a lot of growth and weight and it needs to be pruned. Um, so yeah, if I saw branches broken up there, I wouldn't say, oh, take the tree out. I'd say trim your tree, um, which this has. But again, in this case, it's got other major problems. So for as big as this tree is to have a big hole in the trunk there is a major weakness. So looking at this tree, if I were going to come out, that, that's the biggest issue I see. The area that it's going to likely fail is right in here. The, the, the decay is so severe that there's very little life tissue left around. So it's losing all of its structural strength. So this would be considered a hazard. Yeah, and again, be a good candidate to remove, even though from the outside it looks great, it looks healthy, but as you get closer, you start noticing these major issues. The last area we look for, and again, people do this in different, um, they can start with the roots or do it last, it doesn't really matter as long as you do them all. The last thing I look for is I, I go to the root crown and look at the roots. So depending on the time of year, we're going to look for any signs of mushrooms, um, conchs, just fungal growth in the, on the soil, on the trunk. I don't see any here. 
we look to see whether the root the soil has been added around the trunk if the if you can't see the root flare we call it where the trunk and the roots meet flare out um, you can see it on this one so it's good we're looking for bark falling off so if any of the bark is loose falling off and it and you can see the wood um, I, I don't see any of that everything looks really good down here we're looking for big cracks some of these cracks are actually normal this is just regular growth as the wood expands the bark expands it cracks that's normal um, so yeah the trunk is in good shape the root crown is in good shape i don't see any diseases i don't see any cavities i don't see bark falling off everything looks healthy another thing to look for depending on the time of year is you want to look for big cracks in the soil um, or or the soil lifting in some places because if your tree's falling that is a sign so this one does have cracks but that looks like it's just from dry soil um, we for a tree this size we'd have to see some some big uh, lumps occurring <laughs> So we went through the assessment, we looked at the, the tree from a distance, we looked at the branches, we looked at the trunk, we got a little closer, looked at the roots and the root crown. Because of that big cavity, because there's such a large wound in it, my, my assessment would be to remove it, take it out. The risk is too high. And you've got to judge risk in different scenarios. Like here, there's a big lot, there's not a lot of people around. So if it were to fall, the risk is lower than if it were right over your house. So those are things the homeowner, whoever owns the place, has to make the decision. But again, structurally, the tree's weak and it's a risk, it's a hazard, it could fail and uh, you should take it down. So, uh, you know, those are some tips to do if you want to look at your tree to figure out if it's healthy or if not, it should be removed. And uh, there are some things that you need a trained eye to see, but for the most part, that'll give you a good uh, a good good help when you do it. So looking at the color, looking at the leaves, looking at the structure, looking for holes, bark falling off, uh, mushrooms, all of those things are great things to look for. So if you need help, feel free to give us a call. Happy to help. <laughs>